What is globalization? Uh, I would say globalization is cultures across the world sharing themselves with each other, which uh, was not really as possible, say, 500 years ago as it is now, because now we have trains and steamboats, now internet. There you go. What is globalization? Globalization is like, it's more of an ideal. So thinking globally as far as culture, economic, uh, world. Ooh. What is Thomas Friedman's definition of globalization? In my own words, globalization is not an idea but an error. It is the era that preceded the Cold War. When the Berlin Wall fell, finance was democratized. This gave rise to a group of global investors known as the Electronic Herd. The Electronic Herd is responsible for the rise or demise of a country, city, or state. So, how does Auburn, Alabama appeal to these global investors? What the global investors like is a place that will make them profit and be sustainable and humane all at the same time. So how can us, the average col college student, appeal to these global investors? We must do this through community service. What organizations would you recommend to work with? To appeal to the aspect of humanity, I would recommend the Food Bank of East Alabama. And for sustainability, I would recommend to work with the Auburn Ecology Prison. What about the Auburn Ecology Preserve? On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I volunteered in two-hour segments at the Auburn Ecology Preserve. The Ecology Preserve's main objective is to provide a pristine environment for people of all ages, but mainly for elementary and middle school kids looking to learn about their environment in its most natural form. The most interesting thing, in my opinion, at the Ecology Preserve that promotes sustainability is something they call the rain gutter. The rain gutter is on the side of the main building, and what it does is it captures the rain that falls, and by capturing that rain, it's able to um, distribute that water to the sinks and toilets to keep the Ecology Preserve in operation. The most important thing, in my opinion, that I learned at the Auburn Ecology Preserve during my time doing community service was that you actually don't have to be doing community service to benefit your um, local environment sustainability. For example, if you see litter, walk over to it, pick it up, and put it in your back. That way, you're promoting sustainability, and it took two seconds instead of two hours. Tell me about your experiences at the food bank. On Mondays, I had to wake up at 8 o'clock a.m. and go to the food bank. When I was first, when I first arrived there, I was like, wow, I'm going to dread this because what you do there is for two hours straight, you get cans and put them on an assembly line or box the cans. And two hours of doing that felt like an eternity. But after a while, after acclimating myself with the food bank and knowing all the ropes and everything, I was able to turn a less enjoyable experience to a really enjoyable experience because I was able to help the new people who came in and just really guide them and um, benefit my community at the same time. Um, how this, all this work relates back to uh, um, humanity is when we box the cans and the food items, we distribute them, or the truck distributes them across East Alabama, 
and impoverished people or people just out of work or um, you don't have food in general um, get food this way and that wouldn't look very good to the electronic herd if every impoverished person over in East Alabama was dying. So this is a good way of keeping them healthy and, and hopefully productive and hopefully help them find jobs in the future. How does globalization impact markets in cities like Auburn, Alabama? Globalization in cities like Auburn increases the chances for trade, increases the chances for usages of comparative advantages. So overall, Auburn should grow and people should be happier because they're able to buy more goods and services at lower prices because of the globalization. In a very local sense, those people who were producing things that Auburn, Alabama doesn't have a comparative advantage in, they'll have to change their businesses to something else because we'll start buying those foreign competitors' products for those. But those things in Alabama, that Auburn, that we do have comparative advantages in, they'll have a bigger market and they'll produce more and make more money. But overall, Auburn, Alabama will have more goods and services at lower prices, and the community of Auburn will be better than it was before globalization. So am I still waiting for this world to stop hating? Can't find a good reason, can't find hope to believe in.